Hello everyone, my name is Ming Nam of class 9 and I study in Genesis Learning School. Today I'm going to be doing a briefing about Good Friday. Good Friday, the Friday before Easter, the day on which Christians annually observe the commemoration of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. From the early days of Christianity, Good Friday is observed as a day of sorrow, penance, and fasting, a characteristic that finds expression in German word, Karfreitag, which means a sorrowful Friday. The day remembered when more than 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ died for the sins of the world. The events kick off at the beginning of the Holy Week when Jesus rode into Jerusalem. Midweek, Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' followers, agreed to betray him to the temple leaders. Jesus had been making in the eyes of temple leaders an uncomfortable claims about being God. This is found in John 8, 48 to 59. They saw this as blasphemy and wanted to put him to death for it. After Jesus shared a last supper with his disciple, and he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane. Matthew 26, verse 36 to 56. There Judas lead a mob to arrest Jesus. Jesus stands trial late in the night, certainly not a proper legal practice. False witnesses can't seem to get their story straight. Luke 22. Jesus is tortured and presented to the Jewish people. They called for his death. Jesus is sentenced to die via crucifixion, a Roman punishment reserved for criminals. He is nailed to the cross on Golgotha, where those who travel via the road nearby jeered him. Luke 23. Jesus cries out seven times, and then he gives up his spirit. After a stab wound from a Roman soldier he confirms his death, Jesus is taken down from the cross, and Joseph of Arimathea has Jesus' body prepared for the tomb. Matthew 27, verse 27. Good Friday marks the death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Though he lived a perfect and blameless life, he died for the sins of mankind so that through his resurrection on Easter Sunday, that we may have a way of salvation through him. John 3, 16. Thank you.